our people welcome back to the channel thanks for tuning in to another one here on the coach's desk yes my people thanks again please remember to like share and subscribe so i want to talk about something um leon bailey leon bailey in the news again because we noticed he wasn't selected for the reggae boys um international window coming up right we heard that he got injured because he was double substituted against um Bayern Munich right it's a game that um Aston Villa uh, won so we thought that he he got injured so he wouldn't be able to make it to the reggae boys team that's what we heard however we saw a news report that um his coach is actually faking his injury because he, he didn't want him to get called up for international duty that's allegedly right also this week in today's game aston villa versus manchester united leon bailey made the starting lineup he played for 62 minutes and there was no indication that he was an injured player and that is very 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 strange if you ask me very very strange so you can't make it to the squad for your country to represent your country in nations league however you're able to make and we, we, we see this quite a few times you know we saw ethan pinnock um in that situation before he played and then they said that um it's some foot injury whatever whatever but is it that these coaches in england are, are really messed with the team um and don't want the players to be selected because you know it it it, it is a tough thing still for the uk players them you know i don't know if anybody observed this but tell me if you have whenever we have a game the first game, we, we, like, like a, a camp call up, you see where the English bass players, they play lackluster, they play lethargic. And that tells me that when they, if you have a series of games, the first game is normally not our best game. And then after that, you see the, 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 the games after, um, you see them start, you know coming into themselves a little bit so is it a case where these english players when they travel it's very very you can understand you can understand why leon bailey probably um never want to be here or his coach didn't want him to be here but because it's a possibility that he might be suffering from something you know but is it that serious or is it a case where the traveling will affect him when he, he he makes that 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 trip to jamaica so i don't know what is happening but i just make that observation and 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 it is it is really something to look into or could it be a case where he wasn't selected when he was contacted he probably wasn't available um we have to look on these variables you know because we were told that he was injured and then we saw him playing you get what me i say so we have to look into these things because i mean you want our best players and being that the hatchet have been uh, uh, has been buried where where the uh federation is concerned and he was selected then he got injured he rebounded from that injury and um we we had expected him to be in this um this setup this time around but i am suspecting I am suspecting that he probably has a niggle because he didn't play the full game. And the coach wants to ensure that he, he, he doesn't travel. Because traveling might, you know, cause some, 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 some issues on, on, on these um, legs or whatever injury it is. Because remember, I explained earlier you know, that whenever the English bass players travel, they normally don't play at their best. They look a little bit lethargic. They look, look, look a little, little bit out of sorts and such the like. So I'm wondering if that is a situation. If that is a situation, I, I certainly can understand 
um, it's a possibility that, I mean, McLaren would have had um, conversations with him and he probably, based off how he was feeling or he is feeling, he didn't um, decide to make that, 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 that trip. So that is my few cents on the Leon Bailey thing. You know? What do you think? I think it may make sense. Or I'm onto something. Or I'm just looking in too deep. Yeah? But it, it is something to look at though. It is definitely something to look at. Um, and I mean, it's my opinion based off observation. You don't have to agree. You don't have to disagree. But just share your opinion in the comment section. Yeah? Um, boy, I mean, you know, I'm to Manchester United right now. My team still enough people, but right now we are got to we are got to look up. We are got to look up. Um, a matter of fact, and a little, a big, 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 big fears. Yeah, man, we need we need a turnaround right now because as it stands, it look like we 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 totally out of top six. When they have teams like Aston Villa, we now put them away. You get to me, I say, um, it, it, it's just one of those things. Yo, we probably need a new coach, or is it that we need some committed new players? Or did the <laughs> probably it's a new coach, you know, because when you look on Jaden Sancho gone over, over, over that side, that blue side, and him, him, him seem like him, him just fine. New lease on life. Zin. And when him did die United, it's like nothing and go on. We don't know. It's just that United boy, I mean, I don't know what go on with United people. I wanna think. I think United need to pack up and lead the Premier League. I wanna say relegation, go a championship, go, go resolve things for forward back. Army 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 me I take it too far. <laughs> I said, I'm take it too far. All right, I could see what I go on. Yeah. I me see what I go on. I see what I go on. But I know the United when I used to people, but. Well, it's the life. Life is a cycle, you know. And while you go through your fears, just don't give up. Because some other team did go through it and they never give up. And now, at our time, we go through it. We just have to hold the fort and don't give up either. You see me I say? <laughs> yeah man, we have all the food man. So people, big up on yourself, drop a like, drop a comment. You can share the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. If you reach this far, subscribe. Until next time, stay safe. Peace out.